why reaching out makes a man retreat. That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned because I'm going to give you the why, of course, and how you incorporate this why into a deep understanding of what you need to do. And at the end, I'm going to give you two main questions you need to ask yourself, which will help you regulate and keep yourself from reaching out because we know reaching out makes a man retreat. So who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach for women, licensed social worker and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. I help you find or reunite with a man you truly desire, inspire his continued interest to create the relationship of your dreams so you receive the complete commitment you totally deserve. So today we are talking about why it is that reaching out makes a man retreat. And when you understand more about this, it is a huge game changer because understanding prompts your action. And we need you to not take action in this case, and you will need to regulate yourself so that you don't. Okay, this is maybe a bit new to you or even controversial, but when you understand it under the lens I'm about to lay out for you, you will really help yourself enormously. So let's look at the why. Foundationally, they are simply the difference between male and female. He has a -a cock-a-doodle-doo and you don't. (laughs) I don't mean to be flippant. But when we take it down to its most base level, we can get it in an elementary way. And that helps us remember, repeat, and through the repetitious action or non-action, you start to win in your romantic life. So what do I mean? Men love in a different way than women do. And they are foundationally the hunters that pursue And it is through that pursuit that they actually fall in love and stay in love. The subtleties of pursuit that reaching out can feel like to the man on whatever simple level that you do it, even if it's not very often, it can be very annoying to him. And even if it is not, it doesn't fuel him It doesn't fuel his passion and interest in you. And it doesn't keep him at a level which is going to be best to maintain your relationship in the way that you want it. Now, you may hate this. And I get that because it's not fair. The reason it's not fair is that we are not the same. While we are equal, that should connote fairness. But we are different, so we can't do what we would want done for us. You have a need for connection in a way that he does not. Doesn't mean he doesn't have a need for connection. Yes, but not to the degree and not in the same consistent way that you do. Why is this? Very simple. I put it under my three C's of women and three C's of men, which you can find as well in my book. The three C's of women are, we are all about cooperation, connection, and caretaking. It's just intrinsic to us to connect in a way that men don't. One of the simple examples of this is women use thousands of more words a day than men do. And that is because we connect via verbalization we are generally more effusive in that way because we desire connection, which goes back to when we needed connection in a way that men didn't for our mere survival. We survived by being part of a group of other women generally that were doing caretaking for the children while men were off hunting. Now you may think, well, we're far afield from that. We are in some ways, but intrinsically we are not. And it's why your need for connection can take down his desire in a way. Let's look at this a little more closely. And again, stay tuned because I am going to give you what you do to keep yourself from reaching out 
If you have been doing it, this can be a vicious cycle because if you continue to reach out, he may retreat and that's going to spark something in you or disturb something in you that you're going to do it more. And this is why we have to stop any potential for this cycle to even begin. One of the first reasons why a reach out will make a man retreat is that he sees it as need coming towards him. And if he hasn't signed up for this need in a formal way, meaning you're not his fiance or his wife, it does not lend itself to keeping an interest level high for him to get there and want to make you more of a formal part of his life and partner. Because men don't respond to need in the same way we as women do because of the three C's. We are the cooperators, the connectors, the caretakers. So it's much more easy for him to dismiss texts and to connote it as a need of yours, which just doesn't inspire him as much as it would inspire you. Because we women love through knowing. When we know a man loves us, desires us, wants us, is committed, that fills us and we love to an even greater degree. Men love in an opposite way. They love through wondering. So it's your time away from him that creates a wonder and a desire. Because again, he's a pursuer. So he wants to get your attention. He gets inspired by trying to get your attention. Pursuit is his natural way of loving in a sense. And so you don't want to take that away from him. You need to live in the knowing that everything is fine and he will be reaching out. You want to keep from reaching out so you allow him to come to you. You see, a man is not about just being nice. He has a, a brain that is more focused in a sense on what is right in front of him because he's a hunter. Remember, we're the gatherers. So we incorporate a lot. It's in my book about the difference in our brain in this way. Yes, it's a subtle difference, slight difference, but it's there. And so why not use what we know about the difference between men and women to make things work to the best way possible. So this lends itself to one of the other things at play here, which is a man is not wired for interruption in the same way you are because he's that hunter, because he is going to be fixated and focused, generally speaking, and to one degree or another on what he's doing in that moment and so when you interrupt him, you may not get any response at all. This will trigger you for more reaching out and that doesn't work in your favor. We are wired for interruption. We are wired for caregiving to children. That's why we are put on the planet as the mammals we are. Doesn't mean we have to, doesn't mean we even want to, but we are wired much more for that than any man is. And so we can take the interruption. We actually like the interruption because it's continued connection with him. I hope you see what this all boils down to in terms of you not reaching out to him, making him want to reach out to you and connect to you. Not only is he not wired for interruption, he is wired for pursuit. So when you are doing it, even if it feels very small, and this can't be construed as pursuit, subtly it is nudging him to remind him, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Pay attention, connect with me. It doesn't help you. When you don't do it, you'll get more of him doing it. And this will fill you, like anything else, to have patience. It's what we do in the meantime. And that I work with, with women that I coach on staying in a particular mindset, 
manifesting what it is that we desire, deserve, and staying in a place of knowing that we are creating the relationship we desire, deserve, and we are manifesting it and getting it. Now, I want to give you those tips I talked about at the beginning of this video. But before I do that, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you like this one, put a like on it so I know and I can give you more of this kind of content. So let's look at those two questions that are super important that you ask yourself to regulate yourself and not reach out to him. Number one, is this text that I'm thinking about or about to send imperative? Now I give you that word imperative rather than just important and I want you to remember that distinction. Is what I'm thinking about sending or about to send tangibly imperative, meaning he must know it. Not a lot, as you can imagine, falls under that heading of tangibly imperative. Meaning, I'm going to meet him at seven and I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm gonna be 15, 20 minutes late. Something that he really must know. Oh, we've changed the location of our party tonight and we're now meeting at X restaurant. That's vital, tangibly imperative information he must know. You can see, that's pretty few and far between. You may say, what, I never reach out to him for anything else that is on my mind or something like that? If you strive for 100% of what I'm telling you with these two questions you ask yourself, and you hold yourself to it for a while, and you become really good at this, you can then switch to an 80-20 approach. Because when we strive for the 100%, we tend to get to a sweet spot of 80%. Because when you do something 80% of the time, the 20% you don't won't much matter. This is why my membership to my podcast, Make Him Wonder, is called the 80-20 Wonder Club. I have all my coaching conversations there. The 80-20 wonder.club, the 8020wonder.club. And you can hear all my coaching conversations in their entirety with real women. The idea is to understand that an 80-20 approach is needed with men, but we have to strive for the 100% to get to that sweet spot. Meaning you always have to be mindful of it. Because if you don't, you're going to switch it up and you're going to do 80% of what doesn't work. And then the 20% you do of what works is gonna feel like you're underwater all the time trying to uh, come up and, and get air. So let's not do it that way. Do it by striving for 100% and you're gonna to get to that 80% sweet spot. Okay, what is the second question? Does this text that I'm about to send have anything to do with my emotions? You may really wonder about this one. I just want to tell him that I miss him. That's emotion. Here's the beauty. He is going to text you. When he does, you respond with a lovely, I love this text, I miss you. You did not have to reach out, interrupt him, show him need, subtly show pursuit, but you've got to say it anyway. And you have to live in the knowing that you are going to get that opportunity. But likely it is your anxiety getting the best of you and why you feel you must text him that because you are feeling subconsciously, most likely, that he's pulling away and you want to get his attention. When you understand all this and that you must hold back by asking yourself those two questions, Waiting gets you everything. Waiting in this way that I'm discussing is female energy. It allows male energy to come towards you. Then you get to respond. If it's something emotionally negative, you are upset by something and you haven't heard from him, this is like 
setting a match to the dynamite. If you text, if you just wait, you will get that opportunity to say what you need to say to him and regulate before doing so. Then you receive his text and then you respond. If you get this, you are going to change the dynamic of your relationship if your man is pulling away at all or when he does. Because mostly in every relationship with a man, there can be slight ups and downs of you feel everything's going well and then his interest is waning. And that's when you get anxious. If you stay steady and strong, calm and confident during that time, he will relax, feel safe, and be able to see you as the one. There's a lot in this video today. I understand that. But if you start to incorporate even one or two of the concepts that I told you about here today, you will not experience his pulling away. You can thwart it from happening. And if it has happened, hopefully you're seeing this at a point where you catch yourself Ask yourself those two questions, understanding all that I told you in the beginning of this video, and you will do yourself a huge favor and get what it is you desire to deserve. If you need more help, just go to coachpaulagrooms.com and you can reach out to my assistant who will give you all the options on how you can talk to me, ask me your questions, and there are several ways that virtually you talk to me for free because I want to help. So. Until next time, get busy learning, leveling up, and you will get what you desire and deserve. Till next time.